Hello everyone, Jason here. I just wanted to point out to you something uh, that's happening with Jaronism. His latest video here, um, I want to show you some comments that are going on here with me and um, David of Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. So I asked, any idea what camera was used to film those mountains 160 miles away? My P900 is grainy at 10 miles. Um, David of Deep Inside the Rabbit Hole. This is a channel with, you know, 31,500 subscribers. Um, not just your average Joe Blow. He's one of the big flat earthers. He responded to me out of everybody, you know, on, on Darren's video here. He says, it's just a silhouette of dark and light, so it isn't grainy. Well, I responded, hmm. I thought it was because the footage Sharon uses CGI. At 614 the foreground near shoreline is clearly in focus and the sun is so close you can see the clouds behind it. I film this all the time when I know that the footage of the sun shown here is impossible at a distance of more than 20 miles. At 20 miles the clouds and the horizon have merged due to angular resolution and even the P900 is incapable of zooming in in bringing back enough detail to see clouds in front of and behind the sun. Anyone who has recorded a sunset with a P900 should recognize that the sunset shown in this video is the typical sunset you record when you are at ground level and the horizon is three miles away. The size of the sun, the illumination of the clouds around it, it's just been photoshopped into another scene. It's pretty, but it is fake and being used to mislead people. You know I'm going to expose this deception, right? And I pointed this out to Ronnie of Event Skeptic, and um, he responded, Where's the amazing straight line sun reflection leading straight to the camera's eye? Clearly fake. Time stamped at 616. You love animation. So what I want to do is I want to point out to you that the the clips that Jaren is using are clearly CGI. I can, we'll step through that real quick. And uh, we got to ask the question, what is going on here? I think I have the answer and I just want to shout it out. So after going into a little bit of detail here, uh, and making it look like you've done your homework and it, you know this is all well documented. Um, you show this footage of what's supposed to be 160 miles uh, as a flat earth debunk proof and uh, what you can clearly see is that the footage that you're sharing here, Jaron, is not of a 160 mile sun. Everyone that's watched P900 footage of a sunset knows that this, this is a sunset taken from ground level and in order to have this type of detail where you get to see the ripples along the edge like this, this is zoomed in probably not all the way to full optical zoom, uh, you know, like 83x. It's probably short of that. Um, but there is a, a focal length that you get to where all of a sudden you get past the glare of the sun and you can see this happening. That, that is what we're seeing from the P900 footage. And I can guarantee everyone that there is no P900 footage of the sun with this kind of detail where it's 160 miles away. Think about it. Think about 160 miles from you seeing the sun like this with the P900. It's absurd. So here's the next clip that you play of a sunset, you know, supposedly that 160 miles. And uh, let's take a closer look at this one. Um, make this big. I'm just going to let this footage roll a little bit. And uh, I'm going to stop it right about here. Now you can see there is this reflection right here. Okay. Here's the sun. We've got some sort of silhouette here. There is a reflection right at this uh, horizon edge. But then all of what's supposed to be water in this area right here, there is no reflection of the sunset again. Okay. 
Look at how big the sun is here. They're saying this is 160 miles away. There is no reflection in the water. This, this reminds me of footage that I took from the beach standing at ground level. Take a look and see what you think. So for my Flat Earth Sunrise compilation in St. Martin, this is some of the very first footage that I ever took. This is a sunrise. And uh, let's take a better look at this. And we'll let this play. Do you see this? Do you see the illumination on the clouds local right around the sun? You see, this is a cloud right at the waterline, which is really strange. But you get that uh, reflection right here at the horizon, some sort of a flare. Uh, it's interesting. Don't understand it completely. But this is a local, local sunrise. This is with a P900. This is me standing at the edge of the water. The camera's probably six feet above the water. The horizon is three miles away that's what it takes in order to get this kind of footage and it's being promoted by you jaron as being 160 miles away that's ridiculous and then you've got this footage which by the way is absolutely incredible clouds behind the sun footage i have been shouting this for a while and you refuse to accept it or you you say that I, i'm crazy for thinking it but but people that have eyes to see can see that these clouds are behind the sun. Okay, this was shot with a P900. This is very local. Well, let's give this a little bit better look. Okay. These ripples on the sun like this, this is when a person standing at ground level films the sun. This is what they see. They see those clouds behind the sun as well. There's some in front a little bit here. I don't know where the false background was put into this CGI uh, footage right here. It could be right here at the horizon. Maybe those hills are part of the CGI. But this is obviously P uh, P900 footage showing clouds behind the sun. A super close local sun. This is not 160 miles away. So I did a quick search of YouTube looking for this view that you're pointing out, this Canugu Peak seen from Alouk, France. And um, one of the first clips that showed up is one of the clips that you use in your video. This is the one that I pointed out that shows the clouds behind the sun so well. Let's just take a look at this, everyone. And um, it's amazing footage. All right, everyone. Here's some powerful footage, some powerful music. Isn't this the music that you use, David, deep inside the rabbit hole? The one person that comments on my comment giving Jaron trouble over using CGI footage? Is this your footage, David? Look at those clouds behind the sun. Do you see this? There are clouds behind the sun. You can see clouds in front of the sun. You can see clouds behind the sun. This is not 93 million miles away. This isn't 3,000 miles away. It's not 1,000 miles away. It's not 160 miles away. You can see clouds behind the sun. These are clouds that are in your view. You can only see three miles to the horizon on flat ground. There are clouds behind the sun. And that is proof that you are in a simulation. So there's a reason why I asked this question. Any idea what camera was used to film those mountains 160 miles away? My P900 is grainy at 10 miles. So it's obvious that it's video that was recorded. So what camera is capable of recording 
The sun, that size, that distance, 160 miles. Let's check and see. So here we go, the Nikon Coolpix P900 focal length. All right, here's the response. This is the Nikon P900, new king of the super zooms. So it has an 83x optical zoom lens that ranges from a 35 millimeter equivalent. This is the format, 35 millimeter. So in 35 millimeter format, the zoom is 24 millimeters to 2,000 millimeter zoom range. Okay, that's big. Let's put that in perspective. So before the P900, this right here was the largest lens that Nikon ever made. This is a 2000 millimeter lens. Do you see the size of this thing? Take a look at this. It's heavy. It requires a super stand to stand on and then you have to mount your camera on the back of it as well. The telephoto capacity of this lens right here optically is the same as the P900. They have the same optical capacity. You can buy this 2000 millimeter lens. It's on eBay. It's going to cost you on the low end here 20,000. This one's uh, 26,000. It's on sale. It was 32,000. Uh, this is just a 2000 millimeter lens. That's what the P900 has. Okay. The P900 is incredible. But you might be thinking to yourself, well, the P900 is just a handheld camera. It surely can't see the farthest out of all the tools that we have available, right? So I looked up the largest focal length telescope, okay? Here, this for amateurs, the Orion 50-inch Monster Dobsonian Telescope. Now, in this paragraph right here, it says it has 187.5 inch of focal length. But don't let that deceive you. We're going to look at the specs on this thing. So to get an idea how big this thing is, the 50 inch, here's the size of a human. This looks like it should be able to see a lot farther than a P900, right? Well, if we take a look at the specs, when we go through here, we get to focal length, 4,765 millimeters. Okay, this is more than the P900. It's a little over double, right? So, the focal length of this thing, it should be able to see farther than the P900. I'll give you that. But let's take a look at something else. So I kept looking to see if there was anything else that had a longer focal length than the Orion 50-inch telescope. Remember, that was 4765 millimeter focal length. So I found Canon's 5200 millimeter prime lens. Take a look at the size of this thing. This is a camera lens. In a little video here, I found another article that's got a little bit more information in it. So this thing was selling for uh, $45,000. There were zero bids on it. Um, these pictures right here, an old advertisement. This is the camera sitting on a stand. Do you see the size of this thing? Taken with a 50 millimeter lens, all right, you can see how far away that water tower is now with a 5200 millimeter lens. Now anybody that's got a P900 knows that they can, they can get this type of zoom capability out of the P900. Now there's a little video here I'd like to show you. This statement right here is the ultra important one. It says this is the only ultra telephoto lens in the world capable of taking photographs of objects 18 to 32 miles away that's a far cry short of 160 miles all right this is the largest lens in the world it's got the highest focal length 5200 millimeters all right this can't see 160 miles what were they recording with the footage that you're showing now there's a video on youtube about this 5200 millimeter canon lens the world's most powerful super telephoto it's got over 3 million views on it 
Now, when you go into the description box, there's some important information because in this video, there is a simulated magnification. It's not the actual lens being used. It's explained here that the way it was simulated comes out to a 3,700 millimeter equivalent. Now we're going to take a look at that, the 3,700 millimeter uh, equivalent, but this is real obvious to make it clear. The video is simulated, not shot with the actual 5,200 millimeter lens since it is a prime. Now people that know about lenses, a prime lens is not one that is zoomable. It's not adjustable. It's just one fixed length. So this lens can only shoot at its 5200 millimeter uh, lens. There's no zooming possible. So let's look at the 3700 millimeter uh, simulated telephoto process. I'm going to make this larger here. And so right here, let's get some perspective. This building in the background right here is what we're going to be zooming into. So take a look around and you can see that, you know, this street right here where we might be at one block, this street right, you know, between these buildings here, we might be at a second block. There's probably a third block here and, and maybe somewhere between three and four blocks that building is away from us. Okay, this is this is a close building. This is in in a city. This is not miles and miles away. So as we jump in closer and closer, this is looking great. This is fantastic. This is incredible zoom power. Now we're getting to the point where a person is going to show up in a window. Now I'm just going to go back a little bit and I want you to see what happens when you get out to this level of zoom. There's going to be this wavy distortion. So just take a look at this footage. You see that waviness? Okay, that's all they're going to show you. I film with the P900 all the time. When you're at full zoom like that, that waviness gets worse and worse and worse the farther away something is. We have a limit as far as how far we can see. We can't see forever. I don't think at 20 miles, things are, are so distorted that the detail is gone. The idea that you're promoting that we can see that sunset the way we're seeing it 160 miles away is such rubbish. It makes me mad. Here's a little demonstration I did with the P900. This is in my part four Nikon P900 Sun, Moon and Stars Rise and Set Within 10 Miles of View Definitive Proof Series. So I go through the effort of showing you where I'm filming from. I'm fil filming the tallest building in Austin. I use Google. I show you that it's 9.36 miles away. Let's see what happens. I'm using manual focus and you can see me adjusting it back and forth trying to get maximum clarity. So I'm taking it both directions showing that this isn't a focusing issue. I'm showing you both too far too near. There we go 9.3 miles. You see the haziness all around the edge? Do you see the distortion? Do you see the graininess? It's a 2000 millimeter lens. Okay. You can't see 160 miles. You can't do it. Not possible. You're not going to find a lens that can do it. Those big telescopes can't do it. That Canon lens. Can't do it. Jaron, why are you promoting this CGI and manipulated footage disinfo? The title of your video suggests that you're doing it to debunk the globe, but 
We don't need CGI manipulated footage to debunk the globe. There's plenty of evidence that we're not on a spinning ball without using this kind of uh, deceptive footage. The reason why I believe you're doing this is because there are people out there, me and many others, that are using the P900 and we're recording things like clouds behind the sun and the moon. We're starting to realize just how close everything's happening. And you're trying to muddy the waters with the idea that we can see something like this 160 miles away. Well, I'm not going to stand for it and I'm going to help other people to see that this is not the case.